Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. Once before we discussed the status of uh, a surveillance camera, camera and uh, videos and recorders, how it could be presented in a court of law, in a Besdin, would that satisfy the needs of any sort of proof? The surveillance camera and videos, etc., etc., have many other halachas that they could play themselves out. There is a big discussion, a big debate, if in, this, in the places where you have to have a shamer, a mashgiach, a supervisor, to make sure people are doing the right things, if a camera, an uh, ongoing camera watching and recording what people are, everything, that, all the actions that people are doing, would that serve as a shamer? That's a discussion for another time. Now it's the summer, and in the summer seasons, uh, the Medrash Shmuel says that you specifically have to stress in Yonet Sneas, people are outside, it's warm. So let's touch upon the discussion as it's brought in today's Shalos at Shuvah Svarim about the possibility or the question how a, a recorder, a surveillance camera may play uh, a role and some might think it will help out a very important halacha. halacha. And that is, I'll start it with, with what the Shulchan Aruch says. The Shulchan Aruch and Eben Ezer, Simen Chof Aleph, Seif Aleph, the Mechaber writes, Tzarich Adam Lehisrachek Min Anashim Ma'oid Ma'oid. The concept of a, a rias, the concept of uh, 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 mingling with people that you shouldn't, because it could, mis- it could lead to not proper relationships, is something that a person has to always ha- have in mind and be, be aware. And this is one of the few halachas where the term in Shulchan Aruch is ma'id ma'id. Be very, very careful. It's interesting to note that from all the mitzvahs, of the Tayag mitzvahs, when it comes to Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur Mincha time, and, a, and we are in a high, we are in a spiritual high, and you think that what should the Torah reading be during that period of time should be in lofty matters. Says the Shulchan Aruch, Yom Kippur Mincha time, we specifically read about the prohibition of Arias, the, uh, the illegal uh, intermarrying, and etc., etc., because the, the Yetzirah works very, very strong to make people, Rahman al fall through in those halachas, in those Isur, in those prohibitions. So the halacha elsewhere says, Ma'id, Ma'id, be very, very careful and protect yourself. Not chas v'shom to mingle with people that, that, that are prohibited. And from that we know uh, is the source of the Isra of Yichud. Yichud it means to stay, staying in a secluded area privately with somebody that, that could, could lead to a, not a proper relationship, etc., etc. So the question was asked. Today we know that the Alpi Alacha the, the issue, the issue of, of Yichud is only when they're seclu- secluded, they're in a closed area, etc. If they are in public, then the, the, that issue, <coughs> the issue of Yichud does not apply. What's the definition of public? The definition is where many people could see, and sometimes many people are, are walking around, sometimes even in a room, when, when the door is not shut, either shut or locked, that might also have a din of, uh, of uh, a form of heter, because a person who's, who's, who's falling, Rachman al is always uh, afraid somebody might walk in on him, somebody might see him doing something wrong. So as long as there is this pacha, this yira, there, there could be some leeway. The question becomes for today's days, where Baruch Hashem, we have these luxurious items, and we have that almost nowhere... A person could say, there's nobody watching me, because there are surveillance cameras everywhere, in office buildings, in, in the, all private places. There may, may be surveillance cameras. The question is, if in a workplace or in a secluded area, but it's, but it's monitored by a camera, by a video machine, or something like that, would it apply, would it help to be mater yichud? And this is a question that might, may be in offices where you need to do business, etc., which becomes a difficulty. And this was asked to many of the Paiskim of today's days. 
obviously, when they begin this conversation, they all begin with this ma'id ma'id. This is something that you don't want to take lightly, because something like this, the Yetzirah works very strong. So let's analyze. Uh, we know what we're trying to protect. We know what preventive medicine we're trying to do. What steps does that, and would that be also replaced by using uh, a surveillance camera? Would you be satisfied that a surveillance camera would, would stop a person from doing the Isra Yichud in a way that it could lead to a uh, wrong relationship? So, first of all, when you're dealing with Yichud, when you're dealing with uh, mingling together in, in, in secluded areas, you also have to know there would be a base for sure difference between something that happens once in a blue moon or something that happens more often. Something that happens once in a blue moon, and especially with a person that you, that you could see that you don't really know, it's a one, once, 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 once a time, one, a time, one time occurrence, there is some leeway. When you're dealing with a, a situation that's happening more often, and a situation where the, per, the two people, the male and the female males, know each other, there is automatically, this takes it over to the next level where, where the shushes are much, much greater. Now, why did the Shulchan Aruch say that when, there, when it's Pesach Pesuch L'Shusarabim, when it's open to the public, then there is leeway, then there is room for heter. That's because people, are, the, 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 two, the male and the female are afraid that some of the people are watching everything they do. That's true when it's literally Pesach Pesuch L'Shusarabim. Not everybody even allows, if, it's, if, if the door is shut and, the, and, the, and the, it's just unlocked, if that would, if that would serve as a Pesach Pesuch L'Shusarabim, because some believe, some Pesachim actually believe, it has to be open, open, for the, for the create fear by these two individuals. If it's closed, then already they're, 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 they feel that nobody's seeing what they're doing. Uh, a surveillance camera doesn't have any one of these two pluses because not necessarily there's a person watching full time. It's most of the time there for in case there's a robbery or, or something happens so you can retract to see what's going on. So the male and the female that are sitting in the room know that. They know that there's, even if there's a guard who has all the cameras and has all the displays in front of him, his job is not necessarily to watch it all the whole time. It's, it's more as a playback if something went wrong. And the people in the room know that. So if, if, they, if they, that doesn't create by them the fear not to do the Avera. Uvechein, uh, the Pesach Pesuch L'Shosram, where you know for sure people are walking by, you don't have that with the surveillance camera. You don't have even the fear as, 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 uh, as somebody seeing this, because the, as a surveillance camera, even if it was clipped, even if it was uh, uh, taken, there's always ways how the, you could do trick photography and take it out unless, until the person comes to watch the machine again, to watch the recording again, there's so, much, so many tricks that a person could do to, to change this. So the summary of the halacha that today's place can say that if it's a, a workplace where the two people know each other and they work, they work uh, day to day, day, day in, day out. So there is a, a concept of Liboy Gazba. They know each other. They're friendly. There is no way that a, a surveillance camera could, could pass as a Pesach Pesuch L'Shus to be Mater, mater Yichud. Especially, I want to throw one more svara that the, the, the Achreinim have a, a debate, a, a discussion. How does it even make sense to say that when, there, when, when you have open doors or Baila Be'ir, the husband is in town, how does that take away the Isser? If there is an Isser of Yichud, meaning a husband and a, uh, a male and female are not allowed to be in the room together, how could some, some other excuse, other loophole, remove that Isser? The Isser is there. The people are there. And they're, 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 really, going, they're really going at it to, to figure out how is it that, that, that it disqualifies the whole concern of Yichud. I'm stressing this over and over again because as I began at the beginning of this year, 
Ma'oid Ma'oid does not say by many halachas. The Yetzirah works very strong on these halachas, and therefore only what the Shulchan Aruch allows to be allowed, accepted, to, quali- to, to break the Isser Yichud, only that may be used.